Hello there friends, Bobby here today. Folks, today we're going to show you how to lap your valves into your cylinder head, okay? We've got a cylinder head here off of a 2006 Suzuki Forenza, okay? Um, this is a customer of mine, friend of mine, trying to save her a little bit of money. Uh, what happened with the car was, uh, broke the timing belt going down the highway. It's a non-interference engine. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an interference engine, okay? A valve interference engine. So it ended up bending all the valves, okay? But what we did, went ahead and disassembled the car, took the head off, and decided that we could do the valve job ourselves without sending it to the machine shop. Let me show you what you need to check before you make that determination. Go ahead and pan the camera down here. The two things that you need to make sure of, you need to disassemble the cylinder head. That means take all the valves, valve springs, keepers, uh, retainers, all that stuff apart. And you want to inspect your valve seat, okay? This is the area that the uh, valve actually seats up again against to make a seal. So you need to inspect all these. Make sure you don't have any that are cracked, burnt out, or anything like that. Also, you want to check your valve guides, okay? Your valve guides here, let's see if I can hold the head up here to where I can point to it. They're inside here. Sometimes on some cars when you bend, bend the valves, uh, the guides actually stick out uh, further than others, and sometimes the, bent, the bending of the valve will crack the guide on some cars. This one's not the case, so all of our guys look good. This vehicle wasn't burning any oil or anything before, so we're good to go. We can just replace the valves in this head, and we should be good to go. But we do want to lap them. We've got a brand new set of valves here, and I want to show you what we're going to do. We're going to take this uh, valve grinding compound here, okay? And then we're going to take each valve. We're going to spread a little bit of this compound on the face of each valve, okay? This stuff's pretty gritty because it's uh, made to grind these two metal surfaces together so they can hone themselves together. So we're gonna stick that down inside the bore. Hang on here a minute. I think I got a little bit of that compound on my stem. You definitely do not want to do that. There we go, okay? Now let's take our valve lapping tool here, which just is a, a wooden handle with two uh, rubber cups on each end for different size valves. We're gonna use a smaller size. Put a little spit on there, it makes everything better. And stick it down on your valve. And then what we're gonna do, you hear that sound right there? That's the sound of uh, those two surfaces mating together with the compound in place. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist and lift, okay? And then spin. Twist, lift, spin, twist, lift, spin. You don't wanna just leave it down there and keep on grinding in one spot. You wanna grind a little bit, lift, rotate, all the way around, okay? And that's what you wanna do with each one of these valves here, okay? Now, let me show you this one here we've actually got completed, okay? The one beside it. Let's show you what this is going to look like when you're done, okay? This one is done, and we've taken it out. We've already wiped the surface, you know, because you want to take a rag and wipe out all this uh, valve grinding <coughs> compound when you're done. Now, I don't know if we can <coughs> see this here, but this edge of this valve here, we can see that it turns like a light gray. It's not as shiny as a brand new valve here that we haven't lapped. I don't know if we can really tell that, but you will actually see a light gray dull surface all the way around this valve here to where it's uh, hauled itself in here. And then also right here, the seat, it should actually turn the light gray color all the way around. So when you have the light gray color all the way around on the seat and on the face of the valve, you know that this is honed together and it will make a good sealed surface, okay? And then you're uh, pretty much ready to go. Now from this point, uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do all the valves 
Then we're gonna wipe off all this compound. We'll take this head back out into the shop. We'll pull each valve out. We'll actually put a little bit of uh, engine lubricant, um, assembly lube on them, put them in, we'll reinstall everything. And uh, one good thing that you may want to do, uh, you don't want to mix up these valves after you've already honed them in. So you can take a Sharpie and you can write a number here like number one, number two, number two, number two, like right there on the head. So you can take all your valves out, clean them if you need to, or uh, and lubricate and go ahead and start assembling your head. And we may make a video on uh, actually putting this head back together. Folks, I want to thank you for watching today. Uh, hope this video helped a little bit, and we will see you next time. Take care.